Hey guys, so you know that I was removing my door panel to start doing the body work and removing the door handle and all that. Well, when I was removing this um, tweeter cover, I basically just yanked it out. Didn't know that it was a twist on. So when I did that, as you notice right here, um, all these four tabs are basically broken now. They all snapped off. There's nothing for for the, I guess, the tweeter to, to hold on to this cover anymore. So the cover is kind of useless. This actually holds the tweeter in place too. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and fix those tabs by creating new tabs with epoxy. What I'm going to do is use some aluminum foil tape like I did here and create a, a somewhat of a mold so that I could put some of that epoxy on there. And once it hardened and all that, it should be strong enough to just you know, have new tabs and hopefully that fixes this. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't really want to get new tweeters. Um, but, you know, we'll attempt that and see how it goes. All right, so here's the crappy looking mold. I mean, it's fine for what it is. I'm just going to put some epoxy all, all inside those areas. So let's just put the epoxy on and see how it goes. All right, there you go. There's the epoxy that's in there already. So I'm just going to hold on to this for a little bit so that um, I guess wait for it to harden a little. Um, I'm supposed to set in like five minutes. So I'm just going to keep rotating it so it doesn't keep drooping because right now it is trying to level itself out. So once this epoxy is fully set, what I'm going to do is basically use my Dremel and I'm going to grind down some of this epoxy so that it, it sh to shape it. Right now it just looks like goops, but you know, I'm recreating plastic tabs with epoxy essentially. So hopefully that works out. All right guys, so I did take this inside and have it here indoors. And then I took some, uh, an X-Acto blade and I started trimming it off um, right before it fully cured. So when it was still a little soft. So these tabs are now recreated, as you can see. It's all slotted now. And it's relatively strong. I'm not gonna tug on it and try to break it, but it feels just as strong as it was before. Some of the, the aluminum foil tape is still on there, but it's gonna look like this anyway. So you're not gonna see that back part, right? So now we're gonna test it on this bracket. All right guys, so I'm just gonna fully assemble this tweeter. Basically, I put this clip inside the tweeter housing here, um, just cause it's a little bit spring loaded. So that um, bracket or that, that plastic cover has to be able to withstand the, the spring that's the tension that it pushes out onto the tweeter here. Uh, otherwise, if it just breaks, then we're, we're no better off than just taping it on. Um, so, Let's try this. Let's, hopefully this works. Because the epoxy's been curing for a while now. It's, it's fully hardened. You can really feel it's stiff. I didn't cut a lot of it off just so that it has enough um, on there to maintain its strength. So let's just twist this on. Oh yeah, there you go. Twist it on. Yeah, that's not bad. I twist it on. It's holding. There's no real huge gaps or anything. Um, only time will tell once this is assembled back onto the door panel. But aside from that, it's holding. It's pretty good. I'm happy with the repair. So you could actually use this method to repair these tabs uh, on other plastic parts that you've broken. So you just basically have to somehow create a mold or shape for it and, and cut away at the excess material so that you have um, the shape right as long as it's hidden you can't see it and you should be able to use epoxy to fix certain tabs but Anyways guys, that's the video. That's me repairing the tab um, If you haven't already, please comment like and subscribe and maybe share the video as always guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers I, I